What's up, metalheads? I'm Irving. I'm Zach. I'm Ryan. And like usual, we're going to get you off with some rock news today. Yes, we're going to get you off with some rock news. Get you off. First sexual comment of the day. <laughs> Metallica, their 3D movie, Through the Never, will be hitting IMAX theaters September 27th, and then going to an additional theaters the next Friday, October 4th. Assuming it's Friday, because most movies come out on Fridays. Um, Lars also went on to say he would be surprised if an album of Metallica now comes out before 2015. So all of you who thought it was going to be out next year, nope. Fuck you. <laughs> Thank you, Irv. Irv just told you how I feel. <laughs> oh, he said, it takes them a while to make records, obviously, seeing as 08 was your last one. <laughs> it's been a couple of days. <laughs> and, uh, they have so many other things going on, like rocking out with San Francisco Giants pitcher Barry Zito, which is actually pretty cool and cool for Barry Zito. Uh, this past Friday, they threw out the first pitch at the Giants game, and they will be performing the national anthem. So we have somebody awesome performing the national anthem, which is pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, Joey Jordison, you might know him as the drummer from Slipknot, is forming a side project with... Strapping Young Lads, Jed Simon, and Darkest Hours, Chris Norris, and that's all we know at the moment because he hasn't released anything else as of this time. Speaking of groups getting together, Dan Downigan and Mike Wengren from Disturbed, kind of wondering when that they would do something, seeing as John Moyers and Adrenaline Mob, mm -hmm. David German has the device, and her phone vibrates. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's... never mind. Who is it? Oh, Aaron! Oh. oh! The lady. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Downing and Mike Wengren are teaming up from Disturbed with Evans Blue singer Dan Chandler. Roz, if you don't remember them, they had some pretty good songs back in the early 2000s. Scan. Irv, did you. How do you pronounce his last name? You did it earlier very well. Corcoran? Uh, yeah, Corcoran or something like that. Yes. <laughs> On the bass, and Jeremy Jason will be the second guitar player. They'll be called Fight or Flight, and their album, Life by Design? <laughs> Question mark? That's a stupid it. band name, I think. Fight or Flight. <laughs> it just reminds me of the Fight or Flight like, response thing that you learn about in school. Well, that's probably oh, that's true. Like, how it's what it's supposed to be. Like, are you going to fight or are you going to run away? I don't know. It's just are you going to fly? <laughs> yeah. fly. Uh, July 23rd, expect an album off from then. Or has a little bit more on those guys later. Still, oh, quick thing, still the best band name I have ever heard was from the guys in Crater when we first interviewed them. Do you remember what they said? I what fart shit taco this? <laughs> <laughs> they don't oh, want any radio that's, play. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. That's good. Uh, Black Sabbath announced a full North American tour. However, like usual, nothing in Wisconsin. The closest will be in Tinley Park, Illinois, August 16th. Hell yeah, and Newstead have been added to that Gigantor, well, along with Megadeth, Device, uh, which, keeping up the theme that Dave Mustaine said that each band will have a member of a former bigger band. So, kind of a cool theme going on there. Uh, Alter Bridge begins recording on their fourth album here pretty soon. Phil Ensemble had another response on Pantera saying if he got to talk to Vinnie Paul, he'd tell him, I'd tell Vinnie I love him. Be sure to tune in next week <laughs> when Vinny has a response saying, I don't fucking care. <laughs> yeah. It's how Five Finger Death Punch will be doing a double album, which seems to kind of be the theme lately. Uh, first album will be out July 23rd, and the second part will be out in the fall. And then the Golden God Awards, which we are filming on this Thursday, so we've not yet heard the song, <laughs> but they performed Lift Me Up with a special guest. More on that next week when we know everything. If that gets recorded and put up on the internet, so I'll fucking link it on Ryan's face. On, on his face. On my face. On his face. His face. On people my, people on... will click your face. All right. <laughs> you just go to my Facebook and click on my face. I mean, that's that's fine. And you'll get his profile pictures. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, in case you don't know how Facebook works. Yeah. That's why we have Zach around. He's our uh, go-to guy for how things work. He creeps. He he's the master of creeping on Facebook. All my yeah. friends know that. So if you know a hot chick out there, <laughs> you want you want to know everything about her life, just come to me. Come to Zach. I'll figure it out for you. <laughs> he's like your own PI. It's phenomenal. Uh, Head is joining Corn in the studio to record their new album. Corn with the K. Yes. <laughs> Not the vegetable. Um. Also, a couple more things. 
Volbeat, Him, All That Remains, and Airborne will be on your Energies Rock Allegiance Tour. And on a very sad note, Jeff Hanneman from Slayer died at the age of 49 from a potential spider bite. Uh, he died of... Liver failure, right? Yeah, necrotizing, yeah. necrotizing fasciitis, possibly from a spider bite. So, um, anything like that, you get bit by anything, it'd be very safe just to get it checked out on a very, <laughs> yeah. on a very serious <laughs> note. Um, yeah, don't take things like that lightly. So, uh, best Slayer, best Jeff and his family listening. So, uh, yeah, time to end that on a sad note. But, Zach, Metal News? Metal News. All right. So, to start you off. Skeleton Witch <laughs> has finished recording their new CD, which is awesome. So that'll be coming out later this year, so stay tuned for more of that. Our uh, fellow Satanists, Swedish Satanists, Ghosts, have <laughs> announced that they are selling a special package <laughs> that you can buy. <laughs> package. Package. For and the uh, <laughs> package. And the package includes a special edition shirt, a case to hold these things. <laughs> to hold. Divorce paper scroll, which I'm sure is pretty neat. A little ghost charm. A ghost butt plug. <laughs> and a ghost dildo. Shaped like their lead singer. And the, the butt plug and the dildo look like literally metal. Like, I know the stuff isn't metal, but like, you know, hard metal. Not like, yeah. So. I mean, they look cool. Like, you could pass it off as not being a dildo. If you just put it on your, you know, dress and people like, your oh, yeah. And it's just like, I don't know. It'd be cool. But yeah, the shirt actually looks awesome, too. But now... How does a dildo not look like a dildo? Because it, it kind of just looks like a... Because... I don't know. Does it have arms and everything? No, it's, just, it's, <laughs> like, it's like the lead singer. Like, he wears, like, a, a Pope's kind of uniform with, like, mm -hmm. the hat. And his head is, like, the tip of it. I don't know. <laughs> Herb will link it or something. And, like, oh, check it out. Decide for yourself. And uh, they're also doing, if you don't, that package is $200. So it's pretty pricey. <laughs> so for that special girl in your life. Yeah. If or you're not pleasing her well enough. <laughs> yeah. Hire a dildo. Yeah. And a butt plug. <laughs> yeah. God. And also, if you can't afford that, they're also selling just the dildo now with a little case. I think the butt plug comes with it too. Not totally sure, but it's a it's kind of one of those. If you ever bought, have bought Crown Royal, comes in this little like purple oh, like the, uh, velvet the velvet bag. case. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it comes with one of those. We're also appealing to the ladies who watch this show. I mean, ladies, if you're watching and you're single, you need a dildo. You like ghosts? Just contact ghosts. There yeah. you go. They will hook you up. Literally. All right. Moving on, Summer Slaughter, coming to the rave August 13th. Who's going to be there? Um, I said that before, like, uh, a couple weeks ago, but it's going to be Cattle Decapitation, The Ocean, Dillinger Escape Plan, Plan, Animals as Leaders. Well, actually, I like them. Yeah, I kind of want to see them live, because they'd yeah. be pretty impressive to watch. I think it, the world would be better cool. if we had Animals as Leaders, just to <laughs> throw the hipster comment of the day. Ooh. I, think we, I think we already have a couple of the jackasses as our leaders. Hey oh. oh! Well done, her. That was good. <laughs> Barack Obama, my boy. <laughs> let's let's play hoops sometime if we can. Um, <laughs> we can play. We can play. Hoops. We'll play some hoops. Zach. We'll play some hoops. <laughs> Skyrim. If you play Skyrim, you can now play as a Monomarth. If you know anything about Skyrim, the Monomarth dudes are going to be hanging out um, in the back, I guess, of where the companions lodge kind of thing is, where the companions hang out. So. Go find them. Also, Soilwork uh, released a video, music video, Spectrum of Eternity. Didn't know what really was going on with that. It's kind of Bioshock-ish. Um, not really that happened in the video. I guess people were saying that maybe they're going to release more music videos. It'll kind of be like a story, but I don't know. It doesn't look too promising. just look kind of dumb. But it's a great song. Anyways, uh, Children of Bodom's keyboardist, uh, he has a band called War Men. They might, I'm pretty sure they've been around for a little while, and I recently just heard a cover of them um, playing Easy Lover by Phil Collins, which Irv will link, because it is awesome. <laughs> yeah, so check that shit out. We'll put it on your face. Put it on my face. Actually, also, Watain, Swedish black metalers, probably one of my favorite black metal bands. August 20th, they're coming out with a CD finally called The Wild Hunt. I have to sneeze, but I'm going to hold it in. And, uh, 
So yeah, that's look gonna, up at the lights. Look at the lights. Yeah, no, no fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make it go away. <laughs> that's gonna be great. Um, Steel Panther apparently not playing Avril mm -hmm. Lavigne and Chaz's wedding. <laughs> so I it's think a that, heart, it's a heartbreaking moment. Yeah, there's gonna be video. There's a video out there that's really funny. You should check out. Maybe Irv will link that on his face. No, I'll still put it on your face. You'll be on my face. Mind. I'll, I'll put it on your face. <laughs> Overkill Creator and Warbringer are uh, touring together. Naturally, they're not coming to Wisconsin. <laughs> Duh. They're going to be in uh, Illinois. It's going to be the closest, so check that out. Also, the lead singers of Catatonia and Pineapple Thief. <laughs> kind of a funny <laughs> band name. Um, like have name. collaborated to form a band called Wisdom of Crowds which is kind of a cool band name, and they released a song called Frozen North. Ah, uh, black metal. <laughs> but it's totally not black metal. Like, the first half is, like, acoustic, and then it, like, kind of gets a little electronic-y, which is, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the song. But, yeah, it's out there. And finally, Machine Head have announced they have eight dudes lined up for to try out further for their bass player position. They said they all have, like, touring experience and shit. Ooh. So, if you're just a nobody, you probably didn't make it, I guess. But, <laughs> I could be totally wrong. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And now, we're going to pass it on over to my friend Mr. Ortiz here for some new music. Uh, <laughs> songs, we got uh, Palms, which is Chino from Deftones, a side band. Songs called Patagonia. Uh, album comes out June 25th. Palm. Oh. <laughs> Children of Bodom came out with the song Transference off of Halo of Blood, which is out June 11th. And Deep Purple are streaming their song Vincent Price. And then as uh, Ryan had mentioned, Fight or Flight, they got a snippet that came out called First of the Last. And Dark Tranquility with their song The Science of a Noise, which is off their album Construct. For videos, we got Middle Class Rut releasing their vi song, their video for the song and Betty. Uh, I'm always gonna pronounce this probably wrong. Kev Kevlar talk with their Kevlar attack, whatever he said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with yeah. their song, whatever he said. Kevlar attack. <laughs> they're yeah. they're kind of weird. Did you listen to that one? A little bit, yeah. I don't know how I feel about them. <laughs> Heaven Shall Burn, releasing a lyric video for Godiva. Black Sabbath, the uh, songs off of 13, which uh, got recorded and put up on the internet via a cell phone. Uh, songs are Loner and Methodemic. Uh, and then Holy Grail, which we got the opportunity to see last week. Their video uh, right for Ride the Void came out. The same day that we saw them. Yes, it did. Did they play that song? Yes, yes they did. And it was the tits. It was awesome. Awesome. The awesome. guitar player <laughs> literally like went into the crowd and played a solo like up and Oh, nice. Yeah. That was pretty cool. I like when men see that. <laughs> Albums uh, that just came out this week, Heaven Shall Burns Veto. And I don't know who listens to this, but I feel like I've heard this tossed around a little bit. Uh, Hessian. Their album, something I I can't really pronounce. Sounds like a whiskey. Right? Yeah, I've never heard of them. Hessian. Manig, manage Armor. I don't know. There's literally no like vowel at the end here. It's M-A-N-E-G-A-R-M-R. -E -R -R. It's like Manager Mur. Manager Mur. I don't know. Fucking shit. <laughs> and then for like stuff that's kind of upcoming... Sound Gardens live from the artist's den is coming um coming out sometime in the summer, and then Corey Taylor's uh, second book, which is called. Oh, I love the title. Right. It's good. It's good. Funny thing happened on the way to heaven, or how I made peace with the paranormal and stigmatized uh, Zelux and cynics in the process. I don't is know this how... a Panic at the Disco song? <laughs> God. I don't know how he's going to fit that all in the cover. It's going to be like really small lettering. Yeah. yeah. And that album, or not the album, that book comes out July 16th, which I'm looking forward to because the first book was fucking phenomenal. I loved it. Also, Seven Deadly Sins. Seven Deadly Sins, yeah. Okay, I thought so. When and does that come out? 
July 16th. July 16th. So July learn how to read by then. <laughs> yeah, Tuesday. It's a couple of days before my birthday. Yeah, Tuesdays. So Book release, CD release, DVD release day. One of the greatest days of the week. Even though Tuesday is kind of boring. And then Wednesday. Well, I guess yeah, Wednesday, on Wednesday is comic books are come out. Oh, is it? I yeah. that. Yeah, I just found that out, I think, yesterday. Oh, now you know. <laughs> you know exactly the battle. <laughs> now it's just power, right? <laughs> no. the, more, the, more just power. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> and then for our upcoming shows... And uh, for local stuff, I'll pass it over to Zach while I get myself another motherfucking beer. Ah, local stuff. The part where we talk about what's happening in Green Bay and other local towns. Green Bay or yeah. in my butthole. So, first off... <laughs> Nobody wants to know what's going around her butthole. Candy Machine Guns recently, I think they actually fired their lead singer. I could be totally wrong, but they've definitely parted ways. They're no longer Candy Machine Guns. I honestly, I'm pretty sure I saw on uh, Tim's Facebook that they fired him. I could be totally wrong, so... If I'm wrong, tell me. It could turn into that's what he said, or that's yeah, what he said. Right. Yeah, right. situation sounds like. So, what did but he say? She said they are no... <laughs> <laughs> they're no longer um, getting machine guns. They're going to be changing their name and vision. So if you are a singer, screamer, and want to try out for a new band who will be touring and is extremely active, um, contact Tim Byer on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Also, no trace, we somehow <laughs> won Rock the Ark on the WIXX Best Local Whatever fucking right. contest. <laughs> so... <laughs> We're, we, a hard rock metal band, are going to be playing at Noah's Ark, so that'll be interesting. I guess they want us to debut one of our songs on the station, too. And yeah, and if you don't know anything about WIXX, <laughs> it's one of the stations in the company that I work for. They're a top 40s. Um, they're a top right? 40 that plays, like, Kesha and Bieber and Katy Perry. They play some rock, but they play some Seether, uh, some Shinedowns, some of the softer Seether and Shinedown songs. Yeah. But nothing as heavy as what you guys play. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be very interesting, and I want to know when your guys' song is going to play, because I want to listen, and I want to know how many text people come in saying, What the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be it's gonna be real interesting. Yeah. i got to go I, in there and... If I can see the texts from that, I'll let you know. <laughs> That'd be great. Because yeah. it's going to be phenomenal. But we'll keep you updated on that when we're going to be playing at Noah's Ark. Maybe we'll bring some red, like, water food dye and, like turn all the water in Noah's Ark to blood or something, <laughs> and like just have flames and shit, like, dude, I don't know, it'd be so awesome. Get some pyro. Yeah. <laughs> big, uh, big thanks going out to Noah's sister Heidi, um, I know she contributed a lot to texting a lot of her friends, so Heidi, thanks for being metal and supporting us, you're awesome, and you're a good bartender too. Um, I don't know you, but I've heard good things. <laughs> Green Bay is Metal Elite. We, this week, achieved over 100 likes, Woo! finally. On Facebook. So, so, so we're just going to toast to that real quick yeah. and have a drink. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Oh. Sorry, Irv. Ouch. So that was pretty cool. Um, last week, also, we got a chance to interview Evoked, see them perform with Exodus along with Ground Zero, Warhead. Good guys. Macabre. Good guys. Yeah, Holy Grail. It was a great time. Um, Holy oh. Grail, I... Went in with zero expectations, and they. I told you, face. man, they're awesome. Yeah. I, my I was my face was melted and just like on the ground, so good. <laughs> His face came back though. You can tell. So there. Um. So yeah, that was a good time. All that shit's on our Facebook. Check it out. Um. And I think now we're gonna move on to the question of the week. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who was this yours? This is your question. It was yeah. my question. It was Ryan's question. We ended the streak of Ortiz. <laughs> It was, a hell of a, it was a hell of a streak. It was. Um, if you could put, apparently since these other guys put two guitar players in theirs, your five-piece band, your dream band, who would you put in it? So on guitars, I have Tom Morello, because I love his experimental sounds, and then Jerry Cantrell, 
Pretty much I added him just from today because the song Stone came on the radio and I'm like, <laughs> this guy's riffs are just fucking incredible. Yeah, hey, I had really like Allison Chains. I did too. Uh, bass player, I had Rex Brown for my love of Pantera. Uh, I changed my vocalist since Irv and I had the same one. I'm going to go with Chester <laughs> Bennington from Linkin Park, which a lot of people might get yeah. at, but Chester's range and his screaming ability yeah. is really hard to argue with. I mean, in the end, it doesn't even matter. I know I said that before, but I'm going to say it again. We, we, were weren't, <laughs> we weren't recording at the time, it's fine. And then uh, drums, I had uh, Joey Jordison from Slipknot, because the dude can just fly the fucking drums. So those are my five. Okay. Who wants to go next? Yeah. Okay. So, wake up, Herb. Yeah. Um, okay, so mine, I have, well, lead guitar, rhythm guitar. I guess it doesn't really matter. On the two guitars, I have Eddie Van Halen and Buck Dharma from Blue Oyster Cult, if you don't know who that is. Um, on the bass, I have Mel Parsons, who is the bass player for Royal Thunder and the lead vocalist. On the drums, I have Dave McLean from Machine Head. And on lead vocals, I have none other than Ronnie James Dio, even though he's dead. But <laughs> he's more metal than half the people in this world. And if we had a keyboard, probably more than half the people in this room. Oh yeah, <laughs> half the people who like metal. Okay. Um, and if there was a keyboardist involved, I would pick Rick Wakeman, the keyboardist from the band Yes. If you, yeah, if you know. Is there a band? No. Probably not. <laughs> well, no. I mean, no trace. You guys have no one there. No, but yeah. <laughs> or the guitar, or or the keyboardist from Rammstein, just because I think he's pretty. Nifty. He's not on fellow. stage. Yeah. He's not a fellow on stage. He's but. nifty. Oh, yeah. Crafty. It's cool. um, or Rick Wakeman. Yeah, that dude literally like would work tapes and shit. And like just, <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Irv, I had the singer Jonathan Davis, bassist Tim Cowan from Rage, uh, drums like Ryan Joey Jordison from uh, Slipknot. And just because I've been like so obsessed with them this last week since I've seen them for guitar, and I just had the guys from Holy Grail, they can fucking shred. They're they're not amateurs on the <laughs> guitar. <laughs> you can say. And yeah, uh, that brings us to the end of our show, which just leaves us with birthdays. Uh, we Happy got <laughs> Bill Ward from Black Sabbath, Matt from Shadows Fall, whose birthdays are both today. The Second second of May. And then for my friend, we got Andrew Sari, who's been a friend of mine for a, quite a while. Does he watch the show? Probably not. But I will <laughs> What a douche stallion. <laughs> <laughs> He's not into metal. He's uh, wow. what is Oh, what is he into? Country? No, no. Sort of like the I, Lil Wayne. No, I don't want to. Pitbull. No, no, I don't want to insult him. You don't want to insult him. But well, if he doesn't like no, metal, it's it, coming. It's, <laughs> it's like it's, it's like indie punk, maybe. I don't know. I I'm not quite sure what you listen to. Ska. No. I, mean, I all I know is that we we share a uh, a like for Andrew Jackson Jihad, which is kind of like full punk. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Anyways, Andrew, it's your birthday. So, <laughs> so happy birthday to you, and happy birthday to Bill and Matt. Mm -hmm. And throw. as always, I have a. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, right. whoa. I Damn it. Without this man, I would not even be alive. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Today is my dad's 55th birthday. Senior he is citizen. officially a senior citizen. I called him and said, hey, you ordered off the senior citizen menu yet? <laughs> he got a chuckle out of it. <laughs> and Denny's, Denny's has that. Yeah. So, oh, Denny's. my father, Nicholas Guy Fantosi Sr. His middle name is Guy. Yeah, so my brother comes up here in a couple weeks. His middle name is Guy as well. So you can be funny <laughs> for that. Using that. Yeah, I'm like, Guy, go for it. So, Dad, happy 55th birthday to you. Now you and my mother are both senior citizens. Watch the Golden Gods. Or we hope you watch the Golden Gods. Yeah, we hope you did. We're going to here in about an hour. And we're going to get drunk. Yes. I have, have to work in the morning, so I can't. <laughs> but I'm going to drink a few beers. <laughs> okay, let's throw it in. <laughs> Keep it metal, everybody!